All right, back with some Street Fighter 6. This time we're playing Ryu. Um, so, yeah, you know, my, my past reviews have talked about some things that I really, really bother me about this game, but I also talked about something that this game did incredibly well that other fighting games just didn't do. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're back. Um, the next video is a Ken video, and then I have two Jamie videos, and then I have... Two or three or four Ken videos after that, and then that's all my Street Fighter footage. So, yeah, um, we're approaching the end. We're approaching the end. I got like six videos left, so probably about a week. Uh, a week or a little bit more than a week. Um, I wouldn't say we're approaching again. I would say this is a little over halfway point, but still, you know. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, this game is great, and I miss it. Um, even though this beta was more negative for me than the last one, I still am really excited for this game. I can't wait to play it. Um, although this game is showing extreme, a, a lot of red flags already. Um, right. Um, and you know what? I've talked about some bad things, I've talked about some good things, but maybe, I don't want to complain here, but let's talk about this real quick, right? Um, when I say red flags, this game is showing red flags. Is anyone else seeing these red flags, right? Because n I haven't seen a single person talk about this, right? And this isn't necessarily entirely Capcom's fault, right? But it is a problem that I have personally. Um, and whether that's Capcom's fault or not, it's still a problem. Uh, so my red flags are, right? This game got revealed in June, right? Everyone was so hyped. It was, it's, it was turning out to be the best Street Fighter game, right? No, the best fighting game ever, right? The features are incredible. Uh, th this game this game is just so far ahead of other fighting games. Everything is just perfect. But if you've been paying attention recently, you've noticed that not everything is as hype as it seems, okay? And here's why, right? First of all, the monetization of this game, which I made a video about, um, is incredibly concerning. If you haven't seen it... Um, it looks like they're taking the Street Fighter V path, which is terrible, because that game has arguably some of the worst monetization in a fighting game ever. Besides, like, Dead or Alive. So if you don't know, right, uh, the first the first season pass for Street Fighter VI is going to have four characters. Yes, four characters. Not six, not eight, not even five four characters oh man that that just sucks right that just that really sucks um because if you don't know those characters have already been leaked right we already know what they are uh, and it's just unfortunate so not only is that excitement gone right that's a whole year's worth of content that Kinda sucks because it's only four characters, and that can mean we get one character every three months, per perhaps, which is pain. Unless they give out three characters as well, but I don't know if they're gonna do that. But, because they they've never done that before. So, first of all, right, pretty, pretty bad season pass, let's be honest. Very bad season pass, right? Because, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters first season pass was eight, was eight characters, right? Um... Uh, KOF's first season pass was six characters. Uh, Street Fighter V's first season pass might have been five characters. Um, Guilty Gear Drive's first season pass was six characters or five characters, right? This is the smallest season pass we've had maybe ever. I don't remember what Street Fighter V's first season pass was. But either way, yeah, this is very small content-wise, right? And you're probably saying, well... Just because you're not getting characters doesn't mean you're not getting content, right? Well, that doesn't seem to be the case either. Because if you don't know, right? They're doing this thing. If you make a Capcom ID, you get Street Fighter 2 in the arcade for free. So, that makes me think that those little arcade games that they have, that makes me think you're going to have to buy them with real money. Because why would you give away the Street Fighter 2 for free, right? That, that's the most basic game possible. So, those little arcade games, probably going to be paid DLC, right? 
And you're thinking, okay, that doesn't matter, but so whatever, right? But here's another thing. If you don't know, they are seemingly already offering two season passes. Yes. So there is a $110 edition of the game, or is it just, or is it just $100? It's either $100 or $110, right? So there's a $60 version of the game, there's an $80 version of the game, and there's a $100 version of the game. Or maybe it's $110, right? If you buy the $80, that's spending $80 on a game, you only get the normal season pass. So you get all the new characters, but you don't get their costumes. How lame is that? You have to spend extra money to get their costumes, right? So that also makes me wonder, are there stages? And if so, do you have to buy the super duper premium season pass to get the stages as well as the costumes, right? So they want you to pay a hundred dollars for for the game, right? And four characters with costumes. You cannot tell me that's a steal at all because that's not a steal. And if you if you genuinely think that's a good thing, then you're just you're just trying to defend something for no reason. Like they aren't they aren't gonna notice you, bro. They really aren't. And even though Street Fighter Six is hype and everything is good about it. It's okay to say the things that are bad, right? And this is incredibly worrying, right? Because this is some Street Fighter V stuff, and Street Fighter V stuff was garbage, right? And, and costumes matter in fighting games, right? You want your character to look different. You, you want them to look, you want them to look swaggy, you know? And Street Fighter V has amazing costumes, but they were monetized terribly, right? You can get like $600 worth of costumes for 20 bucks in Street Fighter V, right? That's a great deal, but you had to wait for the game to be like five years old. So it's just, it's very, it's, it's very concerning so far because this game has been going so well and the monetization might be the things that ruins it, right? Because seemingly so far it's, you have to, you have to buy a season pass for four characters, all right? That's normal. You have to buy an, a, a deluxe season pass for four characters and their costumes, seemingly, right? Then, you might even have to buy the stages separately, and then, you might even have to buy the little arcade game separately. And then, you might even have to buy the clothes for your created character separately. So, all of this, all of this, you might have, like, this, this, this can approach worse than Street Fighter V levels of monetization. And you just want a cool costume for your character and you have to spend all this money on it. It's crazy, right? Um, because we do know that classic costumes are in the game. They've shown them off if you haven't seen them. Everybody has a classic costume so far. Uh, but they haven't shown how you get them, I don't believe. So you might even have to buy them at launch. You might have to buy costumes at launch. Uh, unless they're free, which would be nice, but um, definitely the red flags for me personally, right? Um, because uh, only four characters, right, that we know who they are, so they're not surprises. Plus, all this monetization stuff is very concerning for me, right? And I don't think the four characters is a red flag itself. They're allowed to take their time to make the best content possible. But it's just the, the whole the whole like monetization around it is crazy, right? They want you to pay twenty to thirty dollars for four characters, and that's not even enough money. You have to pay more if you want their costumes, because there's already a deluxe edition of the game that's even more deluxe than the normal deluxe. That makes no sense. Um, so let me know how you feel about this, because these are red flags for me personally, and. Uh, I don't know if I should be worried because Street Fighter V had some bad monetization and it made a lot of the casuals stop playing. And there's a whole joke about Street Fighter V. Just wait for the Super Turbo Champion Edition instead of buying the game now. That uh, that 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 whole thing started because of Street Fighter V and Street Fighter IV too. But, so just you know, let me know how you feel about that. And uh, I'll have more Street Fighter tomorrow. So peace. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove A real problem, but I solve them all facts proof And if you think I'm gonna fold, then you talking fool Yeah, y'all wanna win
looking at me spin, boy. I'm done to side, I'm super fly like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I've been winning for my kinfo, and I put on for my city from the intro. Let's I go. I put that time in. My pride is out the roof, I get that grind in. So I'ma tell the truth, I get my grind on. You know the pressure make all of these diamonds. I tell them get back, step back, fast track, big lap, big facts. I'm past that, yeah. I'm trying to get ahead, get out the way. Now move forward, stand back, now break away. I'm about to bring it on. Tell me rookie, run up on me now I'm on the road.